I have fought against white domination. And I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunity. Like Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech, Nelson Mandela's iconic courtroom speech on the 20th of April 1964 is said to be one of the greatest speeches of the 20th century. It is an ideal which I hope to live for and to see achieved. But if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Powerful words that many say played a pivotal role in South Africa's long liberation struggle. South African musician Sipo Hotsticks Mabuse was so inspired by the Ravonia speech that he wrote a song called Nelson Mandela just before South Africa's first democratic elections 20 years ago. Shared speech that today was celebrating freedom because had they not had he not made this speech had he made had not taken up the challenge to the to the regime then it probably would have been hanged and who knows how long you know it would have taken for us to but it shows you know the brevity of men who are willing to make a difference you know to many people and for me it still remains one of the greatest speeches ever made around the world so we cannot, in this year of 20 years of democracy, ignore such speeches because they go to the heart of what our democracy is about. They go to the heart about what our struggle was about and why we enjoy the fruits of freedom and democracy today. The 50th anniversary of the Ravonia trial speech coincides with a call by prominent South Africans for the holding cell where Nelson Mandela and his fellow Ravonia trialists were held to be restored as a site of memory for future generations. They are concerned that the prison cell below the infamous Palace of Justice courtroom has fallen into a state of decay. And I just felt perhaps we're not doing as much as we should to preserve the legacy uh, of um, honor. You know, uh, what that place represented at the time was obviously opposite. But the people who were in there represented our hopes and our future. And it has to be preserved. But it's celebrations like these that will hopefully keep the victory of South Africa's struggle alive and stop the nation's collective memory from fading, like the writing on these historic prison walls. Renee Dalcom, CCTV, Johannesburg.